Welcome everybody, this is Wavern. I'm going to give you guys another video series. This one's going to be on a tool called S-Shuttle. I'm going to start with a simple one, just kind of introducing what it is and do a simple little scenario. Um, we're going to open up an, a website to a box that we otherwise wouldn't have access to and we're going to open up an SSH session to the same box using one of these SSH or S shuttle tunnels. Um, what you see in front of you is my GNS3 canvas that we'll be running through a series of videos in. Today we're just going to focus on this gray box in the upper right hand corner and specifically this is our box we're going to start with in this um, video which is a Kali box. We have S shuttle installed and it's going to open up a, um, a tunnel with S shuttle. It's going to tunnel through our Ubuntu 4a box using an unprivileged user uh, to gain access to the website that's running on a Metasploitable 2.4 over here and it's just a standard Metasploitable so a lot of you guys are aware of this uh, it's mainly we're, we're demonstrating the tool um, the S-Shuttle tool we're not focused on the other stuff okay so let's go ahead and start off with a network tap so we can kind of get an idea of what's going on this is Wireshark running on that uh, little segment right there. As you can see, there's no traffic right now. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. We'll show that from time to time. All right, we're going to open up a console to this website. Uh, I'm sorry, this um, this Kali box just to kind of see what's going on here. So here's our IF config. And our IP address is 122.241. And let's continue on through the summarization. Here's our console on our Ubuntu box. It's already ready to go. It is 122.204. And now we're going to look at our Metasploitable box. And the IP address on this one is uh, 226.129. And there is no, there is no um, route for the, for the Kali box to get to this box. Uh, so that's kind of the way that this demonstration, that's what this we're kind of demonstrating is we can get there with that shuttle in a pretty relatively easy way. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our Kali box and get moving. First thing I want to show you is that we do not have the ability to open up this website that's running on there. And that's the IP address of the, the Metasploitable 2. And you'll see that we cannot make it. Let's go ahead and pull open that Wireshark. That's the segment. Our traffic would be traveling over if we could make it, and it is. there's nothing there. So um, that kind of shows right away that we do not have access to that. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start establishing that tunnel. So let's stop this right here. We will open up our terminal. We'll start off with the s-shuttle command and how to install it. So here's how you install it on your box. Actually, and you will see that is your command right there. In in my situation, uh, I've already installed it, so it's already the newest version. Okay. Now the command to actually set up this tunnel. Let's see what's going on. We got two already here, huh? Ah, yeah, yeah. is and there it is actually that is our command so this is our user that's not a privileged user and our IP address to our first hop this is the metasploitable box that we're trying to get access to and there you go now we're just going to put in our passwords And we're connected. Sometimes you'll have to put in. You do need to have root access to this box, and um, because I've already done sudo, it didn't ask for it again. But sometimes it will. So just be make sure, make sure you know that on your client, you're gonna need to have that privileged access. But on everything else, you don't. All right. So let's go ahead and set up another terminal. But in the meantime, we'll also pull open our browser. We'll come back to the other one and we'll get our Wireshark behind us. We can see, yeah, that's just some a little bit of some noise that's being generated. It's not relevant to us. 
what we're doing right now. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get to that website one more time now that we got a tunnel set up for us. And there it is, Metasploitable 2. That's our gen that's just our that's just the standard website that comes with Metasploitable 2, and you can see that the traffic is there. And the only other demo we're gonna get today is our SSH. So now we're just gonna SSH in. And I'm gonna start with the standard SSH command, and you're gonna see um what happens when you go to this box um, this is a metasploitable thing um, it's got an old version of um, SSH on it uh, well it's got an old version of open SSH on it and it's using an, it gives you a warning your version gives you a warning saying that you cannot use it so here's the error message you'll receive um, they on metasploitable 2 these are the two choices you can use we will use SSH RSA, but we have to put in a special command, a different command for that. So we'll do that right now. And that's actually the command right there. Um, it's host key algorithms, and you can see I've got it highlighted. And then you go in, and at that point, it's saying go ahead and use that one that they're offering and um, can make your connection. And now at this point, you can see our Wireshark in the background is shown. There is traffic going. We're just going to have to wait a little bit. There it is. And now we're in. And just to show you, this is where we are. So, all right, that's it. So, that's all for this first video. Thank you for watching.